Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing an educational stocking stuffer gift guide. I like sharing this every single year. And I'm also doing this video in collaboration with Jessica from The Waldoc Way because you guys know that she is my go-to girl when it comes to educational toys and games. She always finds some really unique and creative items. And so I'm really excited to see what she is going to share over on her channel today. So I will link her channel up here. I decided to limit myself because all of my videos this month have been ridiculously long. So I decided to go with my top 15 educational stocking stuffers under $15. Everyone does stocking stuffers differently. For us, they're always under $15 or right around that number. Um, and so I wanted to come up with small items under $15 that were educational. So if you guys are interested, give this video a thumbs up and stick around. So if you guys have been following along in the month of December, then you know that I am featuring a different woman-owned small business as a gift idea every single video this month. And I'm really excited this month to be once again working with Nicole from Writings from the Wild. Writings from the Wild is an amazing monthly subscription service where you receive a letter about a different wild animal every single month and also receive a little fact card. My son, my nine-year-old son, who I have this subscription for, loves keeping these cards in his room. And then we keep these in the homeschool room, kind of like a community letter. Everyone gets a chance to look at it over the course of a month. When I've been featuring these small businesses, they are to feature the business, to share. It's 2020, it's been a difficult year for small business. So any small, local or small business shopping that we can do this season is amazing but I'm also featuring them as a gift for you guys because every single one of these small businesses has been offering a giveaway for you guys so Nicole is kindly offering a six month subscription to one of you all of the info is going to be in the description box down below so every single month you'll receive one of these letters this is the great horned owl letter here is the hummingbird letter. This was the first letter that we received. And then here's another example of the hammerhead shark letter. She has some past letters available online for purchase that come in some cute little envelopes that get mailed directly to your child. So if you want to buy some of those to put in your child's stocking, that's a great idea. Or you can just buy the subscription and you can um, put a note in their stocking that they'll be receiving the subscription. But another idea that I had, she has a dino bundle available on her website. And the dino bundle has six different letters from six or about six different dinosaurs. And it also has six different fact cards. So I thought this was a really unique stocking stuffer idea because you can either put these in different stockings for different children, or you can roll them all up individually and stick them in a stocking or buy the dino bundle and give them as little gifts throughout the year, like little treats to earn in your homeschool. So thank you so much, Nicole, for offering that six month subscription. Guys, this is a great gift idea. It's only $6 a month. And so that's a great price point for a monthly subscription if you are looking for a monthly subscription to add to your homeschool. So thank you so much, Nicole, and all the info for this giveaway is in the description box down below. So I had to limit myself to 15 items under $15 because I could just talk all day about educational toys and games. As you guys know, as I've gone back over my December videos, they're all way too long. So I'm going to try to do this quickly. And the, the way that I chose these items were just the first things that came to mind when I thought about educational stocking stuffers. So I didn't go digging through my shelves. I didn't try to come up with different categories. I just went with the first 15 things I thought of. I actually wrote a list and they happen to be 15 items so we're just gonna go with it some of these items I've shown in the past so the first one I show every single year in my gift guide it is this pocket microscope I have three of these one of them I keep in my purse because you will be amazed at the opportunities you have to use this when you're on nature walks or in parking lots or just anywhere that you are with your kids these microscopes are really neat they're the perfect stocking stuffer size they come with this little base where you can put something in there if you find it out in nature or what we do is most often is we just put this right up against something so say they want to see the bark of a tree my kids wanted to look for lichen the other day and put it right up against the tree there's a focus here there's a magnifying um and a focus little toggle there and then you have this button on the side here 
that lights it up. And so this has been invaluable for our homeschool. It was one of those kind of random purchases and, or actually this was a purchase from my mom, but it was a random thought of mine. Like, hey, these are super cool. If you're still looking for any ideas for all the cousins, she got them for us and they have been a huge, huge asset in our homeschool. We love these a ton. It's a great gift idea for any age. Annabeth uses this and Isabella uses this. All of my kids use these around the house, in the yard, like I said, in parking lots. I keep one in my purse now, which is just perfect. Okay, next I wanna show you these different nature matching games. So we have had this match a track game for a while. I wanna say at least a year. And these are just nature matching games, but they're a little more difficult than a typical matching game. So in this one, you will find the track inside and then you'll have the different animal pictures. So for younger kids, you can just have them all facing up and have them match it to the right track. And for older kids, they can play it like memory match where you're flipping them over and then trying to match them up to the right animal. They all come with a key here so you can figure out which animal goes with which track. But I will give you a little peek into my What My Kids Got For Christmas video, uh, what my kids, what's in my kids' stockings video that's going up next week because I have dogs and puppies. I have pick a flower, which this one's a little different. This one is, um, I'll show you the back here. It kind of, you match it with either what it does or where it grows, I can't remember. Match a leaf, where you see a picture of the tree and then a close up picture of the leaf. And match a pair of birds, like the male and female species of each bird. There's another one that I'm considering for um, Easter baskets because I'm already thinking ahead because our stockings are already overfilled. Um, and that is the match of butterfly and it shows you the outside of the wings and the inside of the wings. The degree of difficulty for that one looks pretty high. So I didn't want to get it for anyone this year, but that's another option if you have older kids. So that would be my gift idea number two. Gift idea number three, maybe for some older kids, are these gorgeous magnetic bookmarks from Anna Vance Paper Co. This one's really cute. This is one of her new designs. It looks like it's Edison bulbs on there. So I really liked that one. And then she has, of course, some neutrals. And then my favorite are the different florals that she has. These are really cute and sweet little gifts to tuck into a stocking for adults or kids alike. And as of right now, by the time this video goes up, she will still be shipping guaranteed by Christmas, I believe for the next two days. I think it ends on the 11th. So if you want anything from her website, go ahead and order those now. Um, next, I will show you this gift idea. This is a little game, it's called IC10. It's by Learning Resources. This is kind of a placeholder for a larger gift, stocking stuffer gift that I have. Um, the Learning Resources has these different kind of miniature games. There's IC10, there's like pop for colors and pop for numbers and pop for sight words. Arriving from Amazon shortly will be pop for letters for Annabeth, which is a popcorn. It looks like it's, it's the same size. It looks like a little popcorn container and there's uppercase and lowercase letters. And then the pop for subtraction is a bubblegum container with little cardboard cutouts of different subtraction <laughs> facts. I don't know why, I just got thrown off. Um, so it's just, there are these little pieces in here. So for IC10, you just try to make multiples of 10. But like I said, Learning Resources has a ton of different ones like sight words and blends and I believe it's word families, I can't remember. But a lot of different ideas, I'll link some of them down below. Next we have one that you guys saw in my educational gift guide, but I thought I'd throw it in here one more time because the size is so perfect for a stocking. Tenzi is fun on its own, but specifically the 77 ways to play Tenzi makes it an educational game in my opinion. So Tenzi is you just roll the dice as fast as you can to get 10 of the same number. And 77 ways to play Tenzi is where it starts to get educational because some of the card options are like odd Z and even Z and um, opposite Z, um, what else, add Z. Somebody picks a number from 10 to 60, the first person to roll 10 dice to add up to that number wins. Then there's silly ones like bark Z, bark like a dog after each roll. 
<laughs> that's funny. Um, and then there's some different uh, combinations that you can make as well. Pyramids-y roll, four fours, three threes, two twos, one one. Just some different, different ways to make it educational. Scores-y, first to roll a 10-z scores 15 points. Other players score points based on how many dice they've successfully rolled. So you're adding there. Lots of stuff. There's off handsy where if you're left-handed, left you roll with your right hand. If you're right-handed, you roll with your left hand. So that would be a fun one, especially if you're gifting to two different people, maybe some cousins or nieces and nephews. That's my go-to because that's who I'm gifting to as well. 10z for one and 77 ways to play for another. It's a way to make it a group gift as well. Next, I have scrunch maps. I've shown these for a while, for years as well, but they're always a hit for us. So I have the World Scrunch Map and the United States Scrunch Map. These are so great if you don't want maps hanging up in your homeschool room. Whenever we are doing something that requires some geographic knowledge, we'll just pull one of these out and uh, out of our little morning basket. And they are just, I don't remember the material. I think they're vinyl maybe, but they're just these, these maps that open up to full-size maps, but they fit into that little pouch and they have lots of detail. So then obviously the world scrunch map is the whole world. And then when you're done, there's no method to this. You just literally scrunch it all right back up into this pouch, pull the string and the whole map is put away. So talking stuff or idea for you as the mom or for your kids or for some kids that you're buying for who like to travel or like geography. Uh, speaking of traveling and geography, I'll show you this as an example. These learning wrap ups are super neat. These are the one that I'm showing you right now are the states and capitals, right? Yes. And there's also addition, subtraction, multiplication, and there's some, some vocabulary ones as well. So the way that these work is you start, so you'll start here. So you have WI is Wisconsin. Why am I having such a difficult time with this? All right, WI is Wisconsin, NC, North Carolina, CA, California, NJ, New Jersey. And as you're wrapping them up on there, it is creating a pattern on the back. And if you are correct, then the pattern on the back will match where your string is there. So that's a great one. Again, like I said, there's addition, subtraction, different vocabulary ones. So this would be fun because if you have kids who are all different age ranges, you can get them each a unique one for wherever they are in school. There's a fractions one I just saw as well when I was on the website tonight. Next are the Usborne nonfiction books and activity books. So I love these nonfiction books. There's a, they, they make learning fun for sure. So there's these Usborne beginners. There's all sorts of animals, storms and hurricanes, dangerous animals, weather, tons of stuff like that. These are the perfect stocking stuffer size. And these are only $4.99. And, and, and you can throw them. <laughs> and they are hardcover. Also, the animal crosswords and the space crosswords, and there's word searches and things, and these are $4.99 as well. And then these pocket books are $4.99 for older kids, so these nonfiction books for older children are great little field guides and little books of info. And then this 100 Things to Spot in the Night Sky. It, this Now these are cards, like flashcards, but I thought that this was a neat one I wanted to throw in with the books because it's from the same company and also it is nonfiction, so educational. So these are some great options as well. And like I said, I'll link these down below. Next, let's do something really fun, okay. This might not be considered educational to many, but to me it is because of the logic involved, Sushi Go. If you guys have played Sushi Go and enjoy it, let me know in the comments below. It actually took us a really long time to figure out how it was supposed to be played, and then as soon as we figured it out, it totally clicked, and we love this a lot. Like, we love playing this game a ton. This is definitely one for older kids. I would say my seven-year-old is able to play this, my three-year-old is not. This is the pick and pass card game. So you have different combinations of the different sushi pieces that can earn you different points. 
some earn points on their own, some need to be combined with others, some you just don't want to end up with, and you're picking something and passing the deck, picking something and passing the deck, and everybody keeps passing their deck, and um, you kind of start to figure out what other people are going for, and so then there's the logic of, do I want the piece I want? Do or is somebody else looking for what I'm looking for? Do I wanna stop this person from getting this because then it'll complete their set for their extra points? and on and on. So we have enjoyed that one very much. While I'm talking about games, I have three little handheld games. If you're counting, I'm counting these as one category. I, so I don't have 17 things, this goes with the 15. Um, so I have Simon, Miniature Simon. This is going in one of my kids' stockings. That's the memory game. And then I've got Bop It, which is also, I don't know, what would you consider that? I was thinking memory, but it's actually not memory. Fine motor, maybe. This is going in another kid's stocking. I think those are fun, the little Hasbro miniature games. And then this is from Learning Resources or Educational Insights? Educational Insights. This is Brain Bolt and it is another memory game. This is going in my oldest stocking. Okay, I have a couple things left to show you. Next is just letter subscription services in general. So I told you all about writings from the wild. This one, again, is just $6 a month. This is a great one. This is one that I give to my nine-year-old every single month. Then we also receive Francis and Friends from my younger ones. So Francis and Friends is a farmyard animal. Every single month you get a letter from Francis the goat and you also get a sticker with this. It's like, you know, just a sticker of the animal. And then I believe I pay an extra 50 cents maybe for a second sticker because Annabeth doesn't receive a letter yet, but she would want a sticker. So technically she and Eli receive this every single month. And so it's fun. And all of these different subscription services come with activities that you can download online as well. So that $6 really goes far because then you can download different um, activities that go along with that animal or that topic. And so that would be one that I would recommend for younger kids. Whereas Writings from the Wild, I would recommend for like, you know, six, seven, eight, nine and up. I mean, I would buy Writings from the Wild for myself still, but I'm talking about like the beginning age, I would say would be six or seven, um, where Francis and Friends is definitely younger. Like Annabeth would be receiving that for herself now if I wasn't already getting it for Eli. And then Heritage Letter is what we receive each month for my daughter and the American Heritage Adventure we receive for our family. So Heritage Letter is another one, same price point. So here's an example of what you receive. Every single month you get a letter written from the perspective of a historical hero or heroine or uh, you know, a scientist or an adventure, an inventor or an adventurer. Um, and then you also get a timeline card and a little, uh, photo of them and some kind of little, it's not called memorabilia. What is it called? I can't think of the word, it's late. I'm having to film this at night because my kids are sleeping uh, because I don't want them to see some of the things that they've received. So I'm gonna link all three of these companies down below. These are the ones that we receive every month and really enjoy. And then there are tons of other letter subscription services, but these companies I know for a fact, you can also go online and buy past letters which would be a great way to tell your kids that they'd be receiving them starting in January. So if you subscribe now, you might not receive a letter by Christmas, but you can also just go on and purchase one of their individual past letters and stick that in their stocking, which I think would be a really great idea. So there's that. Math Dice and Math Dice Junior, I'm sure you guys knew were going to be in this video because I think this is like the OG of my um, stocking stuffer videos. I love math dice, my kids love math dice. So Math Dice Junior comes with the dice and the, just all the die, the die? <laughs> the dice, I don't know, oh my gosh, it's, it's, it's tired, I'm tired, it's late. And this little mat, and so you roll the dice and try to come up with different ways to make that number with the dice that you roll, and then you move your marker along the um, the little game board that they give you so there. we have enjoyed these. We play Math Dice Junior far more than we play regular Math Dice, but they're both a great idea. It just depends on the ages of the kids that you are 
purchasing for. And then this is a fun one. This was a gift for my kids last year. We don't have all the pieces in here anymore because it's, it's well loved, but this cardboard construction kit is a great stocking stuffer. And there are other brands as well, so this isn't the only one. It comes with this screwdriver and then some cardboard screws, different size cardboard screws, and a little saw tool as well. This is one that can just be hours, countless hours of fun because we all have an abundance of Amazon boxes, right? So this just, um, yeah, recommended for ages six and up, but it's a really fun one to receive as a child, would I would say. Next, I have these Crayola Multicultural Crayons. If you have kids who love to color, this would be an amazing addition to their stocking, especially if you give crayons and markers every single year. Now, I buy these on Amazon, but I heard someone say that they found them in Walmart for like 50 cents, and I think I pay like $2 on Amazon for them, but I also don't really go into Walmart, so I guess the markup is fine for me. And then last but not least are these little, these Terra things or the little tube, little tubes of different animals and different things you would find in nature. These are a great thing to have around. Even when you're just playing like a bingo game, you would be amazed how often these will come in handy when you're doing different uh, studies in science or nature study or just sensory play. So these specifically to anything that your child is interested in at the moment, like Arctic animals say, or farm animals, or bugs, are a really great stocking stuffer gift as well because the kids see them as toys and you see them as supplements for education. So that is my 2020 stocking stuffer gift guide if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up make sure you go over and check out jessica's stocking stuffer gift guide as well i'm really excited to see what she has to share and make sure that you check out that giveaway from writings from the wild down in the description box below bye guys